Welcome to the business segment on Midday Live. Now, haulage and transit drivers say their business is on the brink of collapse. These drivers are no longer carry one third of imported cargo meant for landlocked countries due to COVID-19. The frustrated drivers say the pandemic has further worsened an already bad situation. Josephine NGJ has more. There are about 5,000 trucks stationed at the parking bay at the port enclave. These trucks transport cargo to the landlord countries. And their role in the supply and logistic chain of trade is key. However, the business faces a peculiar problem which has not been solved for close to a year. We are not receiving the cargo from our landlocked neighbors. Ideally, we know there is some understanding between us and them that when they receive their cargo, a percentage or a portion goes to their transported and then the other one also remains or goes to Ghanaian transporters. But for various reasons, the portion that is supposed to go to the Ghanaian operators doesn't come. The truck drivers work under one body, the Joint Association of Port Transport Union, JAPTU. Their concerns are many and they have therefore petitioned the port and shippers' authorities awaiting response. Ghana's borders remain shut to passenger traffic but not to cargo. However, the impact of COVID-19 on transit trade and business is hurting investment. Due to this uh, uh, pandemic, we are finding things very difficult to maintain our trucks because there is no any cargo for us to convey to the other neighbor countries. And now the trucks are there, the mates and the drivers are there. We need to do maintenance and all that these things. We are finding things very difficult. Trucks remain parked for days and months, though a few are on the road. Transit and haulage truck drivers are currently struggling to survive and keep their business during this pandemic. Though the border closure did not affect cargo, but it was for passengers. Cargo arriving here at the port have dipped, and this is also contributing to their current situation. In these difficulties, how do they protect themselves against COVID-19? If we get to the border, they have water and they say that you should wash your hand. And the sanitizer, you clean your hand. They have the temperature gun so that they will check your temperature. If they see it is normal and they can allow you to pass. Authorities are very strict on the protocols. We the drivers, we park our cars and remain in our seats for the importer to process the documents and come for the cargo. We no longer move around freely in town as we used to do it. Those engaged in this business are losing so much due to COVID-19 and the appeal is that government should include them in the stimulus package. Justin NGAJ, TV3 News.